Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can create your own patrolling AI in Unity. We are going to be using visual scripting for that. The code will be pretty easy. You can see it here. You can obviously adjust the movement speed of each enemy. And also there's two ways how the direction of the enemies can change. The first one is when the enemy goes off the platform, the direction changes. And second one is basically just with some cooldown, so then it randomly sometimes changes direction. Let's get started. First we will need to create our enemy, so we can drag some sprite into the scene, adjust the scale and the order in layer. To the enemy we will want to add collider and also rigid body 2D. On the rigid body we want to freeze the rotation on the Z axis and adjust the collider. We will add script machine to our enemy and create new graph. Also we need to add two colliders under our enemy, which will be detecting if the enemy is on the edge of the platform. So now we have our enemy with those three colliders and we can get into the script. First we need to define some variables. First will be the movement direction. The type will be float and the value will be either 1 or minus 1. 1 will be for moving to the right and minus 1 for moving to the left. We can also define our movement speed. And then we need to define those two colliders. Now we are gonna do the basic movement. We need the onUpdate function and we will be using the transform.translate. Here we want to change only the X position and we don't need to input any transform because we have the script right on our enemy. For the exposition, we first need to multiply the movement speed by delta time, so it is consistent on all devices. Then we want to multiply that by the movement direction, so it is either 1 or minus 1. Then we want to change the direction, so we can do this by using those colliders. When those colliders exit the tag ground, we can just change the direction. So after the left collider exits the trigger, we want to get the tag of the collider that it has just exited. And if the tag is equal to ground, we then want to set the movement direction to right. We can do the same thing for the right collider. And before we test it, we want to make sure that those two colliders that we are using are set to a trigger. Yeah, now you can see that the enemy is going from left to right. And if you want to make it more random, so that the enemy sometimes changes the direction, we can go into the script. Here you only need to add cooldown with some random duration and then set the movement direction to the other direction. Now you can create prefab from your enemy, just drag it from the hierarchy to the project and add as many enemies into your game as you want and change speeds of each one of them. You can see that it works just as intended. I hope this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next one, bye!